Hey, you guys, today's um, prophetic word is such a good one and such a good one for our, for the season that we're in as people, as a country, all of that. Okay. And what God said is the winds of change are here. And what he kept like rolling through my thoughts was the way that you've done things, the way that you've um, just done all the things, whether that was the job that you've had, the um, way that you've done ministry, the way that you've done church, all of the things, there has been a wind and it started in 2020. There was this wind that blew through and God was like, I am stirring stirring the wind and sometimes it feels like a storm like the wind starts going and we're like oh hold on god i don't know that i love this um but he's like don't be afraid of the wind see what you did in the past the things that have brought you success have brought you um, just that favor, they've shifted a little bit. And so it's time to dream new dreams. It's time to get out of the boat. It's time to stop looking at the winds and always blaming the enemy for it. We always say when things go wrong, you know, it's just the enemy. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes these seasons are God saying, I'm doing a new thing. And I want you to get on board for that. And the only way that we change, the only way that we pivot or we do something different is God has to make it a little bit uncomfortable. Can I get an amen? But he's like, these winds, this tossing and this turning, it's me. It's me. I have more for you. But you have gotten so comfortable with where you're at and what you do in your routine and where you're at. And that may be physically, that may be some emotional stuff that you've just put up with. And God's like, these winds are creating a change. And you get a choice. You get a choice to sit there and be like, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ride this out, God. Like, I'm gonna stand here and I'm just gonna keep declaring your name, and I'm just gonna keep just standing in the middle of what feels like a hurricane. Or you can get up and you can say, okay, God, is this from you? Is this from you? And is this a wind change that you're pushing in? And that, my friend, is what you have to ask. That's what you have to ask. And one of my favorite ways to do that is just to put my palms up. And to say, God, what are the things in this season that you are asking me to release? And when you do that, when you close your eyes and you just put your palms up and you, and you say that, you'll either hear things, see things, um, you'll whisper things, you'll get a vision of things. It all depends on how he speaks to you. But those things that he says, like, release in the season. Just flip your hands over and just say, God, I release them. God, I don't want, I don't want things that don't belong in my life in this season. And be honest with you. Maybe that scares the bejeebers out of you. Tell him. God, help my unbelief. Help me to trust you. Help me to trust you. Help me to let go of that control. Some of you guys hold on to things so tightly. You're juggling all of these balls and it feels like, 
I can do this. I can do this. I can keep it all going, God. And God's like, I didn't call you to. Because what if what's on the other side is greater? What if that means more prosperity, more influence, more impact? Because influence equals impact when done right. What is that? You're holding on to it so tightly. And it feels like you're in the middle of this hurricane, holding on to that pole, holding on to that thing, saying, We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. And God is just whispering, The winds of change are here. And you can either get out of the boat and come walk on water. Or you can sit there in fear and doubt. My friend, that's not what he has for you. Fear, doubt, shame, none of that was ever part of the plan for your life. Ever. So it's time. Asking this wind that I feel, this shifting that I feel in my spirit, God, is that you? God, if that's you, you show that to me. You reveal that to me. It's okay to ask for confirmation. It's also okay to pour out your heart and say, God, I, I know that you're shifting. I know that you are changing some things. And I'm not sure I like it. Change is hard. Change is hard. If you happen to use essential oils, my favorite essential oil to help in those moments where it feels like the world is pressing in and I'm trying to control it all um, is oregano. And I usually do it with some fractionated coconut oil and just put it a little bit on the top of your head. Just helps with control. My friend, there is so much more on the other side. But will you let those winds create that change? Because you get a choice. You get a choice in this. And my prayer over you is that you will allow him to speak change, to, to move you into new things. I'm going to pray over you right quick. Holy Spirit. God, we thank you for winds of change. Lord, if we're just honest, we don't love change. We like status quo. But God, we also trust that if you're moving those winds and you're moving us, that God, there's greater on the other side. And so God, calm our hearts. God, calm our minds. Holy Spirit, the comforter, bring peace. Help us know that we know that it's you causing the wind to, to bring these new changes. God, thank you. Thank you for greater in your precious name. Amen. Okay, guys, do me a favor. If you have not um, subscribed, please do that. Okay, and please share it with somebody. But also when you subscribe and leave a comment, if you want a specific word for your life, um, when you subscribe and leave a comment, I will um, ask God for a word on your behalf, okay? So make sure that you do that for me. Okay, guys, have a great day. Make sure that you check out the next prophetic word. God's been on a roll. Bye, you guys.